Guyana had signed the historic Forest Protection Accord back in 2009 with Norway to sustain its rainforest in order to observe global carbon emissions for which Guyana was to earn a total of US $250 million over a five-year period. Some US $200 million was already paid over and while the final tranche has been released, former president and current opposition leader Bart Jagdeo, who had signed the deal, noted that this was not new. This announcement was made before when the minister returned from New York, the, uh, the General Assembly meeting. The announcement was made, they just recycled the announcement on December and, and took credit for it. The opposition leader referred to comments made by the former director of the Norwegian International Climate and Forest Initiative, Per Frederick Farrow, who had told a local newspaper back in October that Guyana will not get access to the money until after elections. According to Jack Dio, the coalition administration took an old story and recycled it to show that there is vote of confidence in it by the international community. They recycled the old story in December 23rd and made it a big thing, oh, vote of confidence forgetting that the people release the money to the GRIF that is a fund managed by the World Bank. But they, they, they made it clear that the World Bank cannot release this money to the government of Guyana until after the elections are held. So that was not a vote of confidence. In fact, it was a vote of no confidence. Moreover, the opposition leader was quick to remind that while the government is glorifying how well it did, it was in fact a People's Progressive Party project and that the Alliance for Change, AFC, had tried to sabotage it. In fact, the AFC particularly wrote the Norwegian and said that they should not, when they were in opposition, they should not accede to this agreement with Guyana and should not give Guyana any money under the Norwegian fund. That was the AFC, a letter signed by a large number of AFC leaders and some others. I, I still have that letter. And so today, they're taking credit for it. It's something that they did not work for, not put in a single day of work, but they're taking credit for it. Reporting for the Evening News, Vanu Manikchan.